Oh my god. What's up guys? Welcome back to JV's Galactic Adventure. My name is JV and today we're checking out Frankenweenie. This movie came out in 2012 and I think it's a Tim Burton movie. You guys suggested it after Corpse Bride. I got so many requests to do this one. So let's check it out together. Frankenweenie. I think it's directed by Tim Burton. I didn't really check. Directed Tim Burton. Yep. Corpse Bride was like my number one video for March. So did really well. I didn't expect that. Maybe I should release Wednesday on YouTube. We'll be down for that. I'll release one episode, see what you guys like. It. Oh, yes, of course. Isn't that your grandmother's tablecloth? Yeah. That looks great. Ah! Send to the Marines. Stop going animation. I used to make movies just like kind of kind of like this. Not this. This production is crazy, but I would make stop motion movies when I was a kid too. Like Camp quarter. Sparky, that's you. Sparky. Uh, you tell him, Sparky. Watch out, the army. Good job, Sparky. Yeah. Oh <laughs> the end. Or is it? Oh. Oh. What happened? Um, maybe just unplug it. Broke. Oh no. Oh, this dog is gonna bite it for sure because Franken weenie. Like they brought it, bring him back to life. So I know he's gonna. Something's gonna happen to him soon. I love the animation. And it's black and white. Is the whole movie black and white like this? Cool. The way his age needs to be outside with his friends. I don't know that Victor has friends, dear. Other than Sparky. Filmed by Tim Burton. He has no friends, so he's gonna lose his only friend. Oh man. You know, weird. There's nothing wrong with Victor. He's just in his own world. What do you do when your kid has no friends? Set him up on play dates? Like, he's too old for that now. I don't know. You be their friend? Hang out with them, see what they like to do. Maybe uh, shoot some videos with them, like, make a film together. Where you can mend it back together. Cool. That was easy. Produced by Tim Burton. Based on a screenplay by Lenny Rips. Nice transition. See you later, sweetie. Have a good day. Victor, come on, honey. You're going to be Even late. the story was by Tim here. Burton. And then the writer kind of expanded on it. Screenplay by John Rugg. Directed. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Burger. The mean neighbor. I'll keep an eye on him. You better. Better. Yes, what are you going to do? You're going to do something to my dog? Do something to you. Go on, Sparky. That's right. You ain't going to like it. Good boy. You know what? I got to watch Edward Scissorhands. I just remembered. And the crow. I got to watch the crow. Where do you think you're going? School. What about that dog of yours? She's not in the house and she's away from your tulips. It's a Wednesday. Keep at it. Dutch day is a big day for me. Yes. Sir. Dutch day. Big day for me. Holland Elementary. So we got Wednesday. We got the main character. Apparently, Mr. Holcomb had an incident. He got hit by lightning. Huh. <laughs> that is bad. But he did not it's get hit. It's like a town of Frankenstein people. Lightning does not hit a person the way one is hit by a baseball or a cabbage. Look at this, Igor. The cloud is angry, yes, making storm. All the electrons are saying, I am leaving you. I go to the land of opportunity. So both sides start to build a ladder. Electrons. Boom! <laughs> the circuit is complete. And all of the electrons rush to the land of opportunity. Uh, through him. Ah! Okay. But it's very rare to have such incident. Did you see that guy who got struck by like two or three times? There's a thunderstorm almost every night. My dad got it twice. What? I heard it was a cemetery. That's where they bury the miner. God. Until the sky itself rages against the night. Everybody. Definitely. Everybody's so creepy in this town. Uh, what the? It's Tim Burton style, man. It's all this like gothic, like Adam's Family style. Very popular. But this was 2012, right? So. 
Well, her dog. <laughs> Look at her poodle. The hair. So there's a lot of lightning they established. So they need lightning to bring stuff back from the dead, right? Frank and Weenie over here. First prize is a huge trophy. Oh, science fairy brings his dog back to life. <laughs> she brings her cat to school. <laughs> oh. Hello, Victor. Hi. Mr. Whiskers had a dream about you last night. How do you know? Yeah. He made this. Mm. Did you get that out of the... Ew. An omen. Last month, he dreamed about Bob. Oh, my God. He fell in a manhole. <gasps> oh. He dreamed about Toshiaki the day he pitched a perfect game. Ha <laughs> ha. Perfect the game. Day, he got knocked unconscious. If Mr. Whiskers dreams about you, it means something big. Could be good or bad. One day you'll dream about me, won't you, kitty? Just keeps poop in her pocket all day. Cat poo. So stinky. I have a cat. I know. Cat poo and pee is so stinky. You'll be my partner, right, Victor? Because Igor. I have lots of ideas. We can make a death ray. <laughs> no, that specifically says no death rays. I still want to do it. Come on. Who else would be your partner? You don't have friends and neither do I. I'm sorry, Edgar. I just don't need a partner. I like to work alone. It's funny. His name's Edgar. Will you sign my permission slip? Dinner's ready. You know, the original Victor, story of Frankenstein. I've never seen that movie. Will you sign my form? I, I'm getting to that. Okay. In my job, sometimes you have people who don't... Fondu, again. And it's my job, Victor, to help them meet halfway. Scottsdale, Arizona. He gets the golf, she gets Indians. But there's no... Interesting, Dad. Exactly. <laughs> Compromise. They both get what they want because they compromise. Yeah. I'd like you to try a sport. See, I don't know, baseball. Science fair, baseball. Science fair, baseball. How do you choose? Guess what? You don't have to. No reason you can't do both. You meet in the middle. Everyone's happy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, play some baseball. It's the least, one of the least, like, well, I might get some pushback for this, but one of the least athletic sports. Like, you don't have to, it's not like football or soccer or basketball where you're constantly or hockey. It's a good warm up, like, not warm up, damn it. <laughs> it. You have to be very athletic to, to, to make it high up, but to introduce someone to sports, it's a good introductory sport. Come on, honey. And you could practice, you know, in the backyard or whatever. Oh my God. Come on, Victor, please. Tie Sparky up and get your head into the game. I'm out. Did you practice with him first before he played his first game? He's Sparky. Man, this is incredible. Mm -hmm. And this guy is the perf he's like the best pitcher in town. When conducting an experiment, trying is the Remember that thing. baseball it anime? Okay to fail as well. What was it called? That was awesome. Is that a sardine sandwich? Just eats the bread. <laughs> Doesn't care. <laughs> Come on, Victor, you can do it, honey. Oh, well. Come on, Victor, use the calculations of your science brain. Oh. Come on, honey. You can do it. <laughs> Little mouth. Meow. Triangle mouth. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Oh, it's going. It's going. It's gone. Wow, he's strong. Holy crap. Look how far he hit it. Victor, run. Cracked it. Oh, no. Sparky. Sparky, no! Oh, no! Okay. Okay. Oh, come on! Car approaching the, the, the captions. Oh, damn. Sparky! He's gonna blame himself. No! Oh, my God. He's never gonna play baseball again. And his best friend is gone. He hit it out of the park. First time. Oh, Sparky. I'll be like, I should have tied him up better. I never should have played baseball. Like, all these things. I might blame his dad. His best friend. Let's give him some time alone. 
Aww. Everybody misses Sparky. Damn. He was a great dog, a great friend. The best dog a kid could have. You make me cry. <sighs> Frick. They just move into a special place in your heart. He'll always be there, Victor. I don't want him in my heart. I want him here with me. I know. If we could bring him back, we would. Don't say that. Kid's a genius. Try and get some sleep, sweetheart. Things will seem better in the morning. Clone him. You have some of his DNA? People do that nowadays. So obviously it doesn't turn out the same, but it's part of, I don't know. That's crazy. People clone their pets. What does that entail? I don't think it's what we think it is. Cloning. It's different from the movies. Okay, where is he going to come up with this idea to bring him back? Because Frankenstein is not the monster. Frankenstein is the scientist. Oh. Even after death, the wiring remains. Watch as the muscles respond. Electricity. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's been decaying under the ground for I don't know how long it's been. Oh no. This is it. Sparky's coming back. Frank and Weenie. Frank and Weenie. Start building, kid. Engineering. How school? Okay. <laughs> a bunch of like metal pots and pans and blenders and turn it into like a some kind of machine. What other Frankenstein movies are there? Van Helsing? Is that Frankenstein? Should watch that. Underworld. The Crow. Rover, Bubbles, Pet Cemetery. I've never seen that classic horror movie. Never seen it. Go dig him up. Bring him back to life. Goodbye, kitty. What the? Is that that? Oh, black cat. Shoot. The lightning. Oh my gosh, you took him out? Okay, put him in like a bag. Put it, put that stuff back. Oh gosh, come on, man. You gotta put that stuff back or else the people are gonna come by and be like, hey, someone dug up your dog and be suspicious. It's been a while since he's been alive. He might be, uh, he's not gonna be the same, right? His brain? Totally unsuspected. What's about to take place in the Twilight Zone? Come on, honey, let's sit down and watch a movie on the television. What movie is that? Anyone know? It's alive! It's alive! I know that from the original movie, right? It's funny, Igor's not here with him. Igor, yes, master. Those big conductors. Just fry them. That's all that would happen. Oh. 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 Oh, it's all sewn up. Oh my god, this is crazy. The bat signal. And the umbrella. The nosy neighbor. Holy crap, this is crazy. Man, he's smart. Look at all the stuff he built. I'll bring you back to life. Sparky. Pull the crank. Back to the future. Toaster. <laughs> Why? Why is there a toaster there? Oh, man. Parents have no idea this stuff is happening. He built this whole rig and everything. Okay, now we wait. For lightning to strike. A lot of electricity building up. Just need to talk to each other and... Frankenweenie's in the middle. Did it work? Is he alive? Ooh, crispy. No heartbeat. Ah, oh, man, all that work. Sorry, boy. Gonna move. Move, Tail. Move. Oh, he's back. 
Oh my god, he brought him back from the dead. That's crazy. You're alive. Say it again. Yeah. <laughs> They're mirroring, you know, the old Frankenstein. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, shoot. I can fix that. Oh my god, his skin. Patch it up. What's the catch? What's the catch? Is he gonna decay? Does he need to eat? Oh my god, this is crazy. He brought him back. Victor, breakfast. Victor? I can't believe it. He's fully back. Are you up here? Is he gonna hide it from them? Mom, look, I brought him back. I don't believe Victor? You can't hide him forever. Sparky. Victor! She'll be freaked out, but like, how are you gonna hide your dog from your mom? Sparky doesn't listen to anybody. French toast or waffles? Uh, waffles. Then I'll need my waffle iron back, Mr. Director. <laughs> oh, shoot. A robotic bucket? Yes. For mopping, I suppose. Yes. And maybe when you're finished, you'll let me use it. <laughs> Like a Roomba for mopping. My Roomba or robot vacuum has a mop attachment. Sorry, boy. They may not understand. So you need to stay here today. <laughs> Until when? Like, when is he going to be able to bring him out? Oh my god, that's crazy. You're going to go to school? Oh man, this is nuts. What are you doing? I would stay home with them. Oh man, what's gonna happen? What's the catch here? It's gotta be something bad. He rots or something or Oh shoot. Why would that oh, oh this cat? Oh shoot. No, couldn't be. It's barking up there. Oh! Oh no! Gonna die again. Oh, the guy's flowers in the garden. <laughs> Chilling. Oh, shoot. Ruined his flowers. His petunias. Oh, parkour. Oh, gross. Oh, that's so nasty. I hate the fly sound in my ear. Can't take it. Oh, jeez. No flies buzzing around him because he's dead. Oh no. We're gonna have flies this whole movie. God, it's it's right in my. I have a, a earphone in. It affected the whole neighborhood. Mm. Oh. Yeah, there's flies buzzing around him. Igor. Mm. Good, the flies are gone. Hey, hey, his love interest. He might not smell the same. It's him. Oy! Oh. Oh, cool. <laughs> the white. <way. laughs> Oh my god, I did not expect them to do that. Wow, that's incredible. Hi, Victor. How was Frankenstein? His wife had that, you know, that white streak in her hair. I believe that stuff is so like before my time, but it was around a little bit. What's oh. the matter, boy? Are you okay? He needs more electricity. You're a little low. Are you hungry, boy? Mm. All right, here. Let's top you up. Yeah, electricity. Runs off electricity now. Charge him up. It's like your phone. Can you come down here, please? Victor! Victor Frankenstein. Hey, hey I Edgar? know about your dog. Hey. Edgar, what are you doing? It said, it said in the captions, Mrs. Frankenstein. No. Know what? You know. No. I think I know what you know I know. Mm. 
She's just happy he has a friend. The dog is alive. <laughs> alive. I know. I know it is so impossible, but you did. <laughs> so show me how, or I'll tell everyone. Um <laughs> Mrs. Frankenstein. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, yes, of course. Hmm. What about your cookie? I think the wind and the lightning are part of the same thing. Get your cookie. The wind isn't strong enough to bring an animal back from the dead. For that, you need lightning. He's not even listening. For this what? isn't an experiment. It's my dog. Show and tell, Victor. You show me, and I won't tell. Mm. Can I help you, young man? I'd like to buy a fish. Certainly. Which one? This one. Oh. It's already dead. Okay, I thought he was going to buy a live one, kill it, and then bring it back. But buy the one that's already dead. This one. Nosy neighbor is going to see again. The mayor. I think he was the mayor. Yeah, fried fish. Same thing happened. The big spark. What happened to it? What did you do? I don't know. It should have worked. What the heck is it? The heck? Camouflaged? Oh. It's an invisible goldfish. Why is what it invisible? The... I have no idea. The heck? Oh. Weenie doesn't like it. Sparky doesn't like it. Okay, okay. Promise? Promise. Ah, oh, liar. How are we supposed to see an invisible goldfish? Mm. Put your finger in. Instantly you... telling everyone. Ah! It bit me! Use the flashlight. Let me see it. There it is. It's so vicious. It's just a goldfish. <laughs> it's like biting everybody. And like <laughs> Science project and it's top secret. Hmm. You need to charge it up to keep it alive. Our science fair project is even cooler. What is it? Double the top secret. <laughs> Double the top secret. <laughs> His voice. You gotta come up with something better. Bigger. Sea monkeys. I know. The science fair is in two days. I know. Double the top secret. What? Saturn V? What does he want to do with that Saturn V? No wonder he was so wild. Well, I guess he would stay home with his mom during the day. Oh god, here we go. No, he didn't. So this guy's like a zombie. Tushoki says it's your science fair. Tushoki. <laughs> if it was, I couldn't tell you. Swish your finger around. You can feel it. Oh yeah, it's not. It's dead. Or it's it's weak. It's just water. There's nothing there. No, it's invisible. Mm. I don't know what kind of game you and Victor are playing. But that trophy will be mine. Mine. Victor. You need to charge it. Something's wrong with my fish. What is it? It's not there anymore. Maybe it just hopped out. Did you have the lid on it? Yes. Yeah, right. I'm thinking maybe they don't last. They're only there for a little bit. And then they're gone. And they're gone. You better enjoy your time with, with Sparky. Have that much time. Oh, he's gone. He chewed out of the he chewed the rope and got out. Oh, oh crap. Sparky. He's falling apart, man. You gotta let him go. This isn't right. This isn't right. He's gonna start suffering. His like eyes are gonna fall out and all this nasty stuff's gonna happen to him. He has no idea. Mm. All dogs go to heaven. Correct data. Do we have to collect it on me? Oh my god, he's gonna make a like a rocket skates? <laughs> no. All at the same time? Pull. Could use a test dummy or something. Eta. Iva. Right. Come on. Why on the roof? It's so slow. It's way too slow. You're gonna fall off the roof. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. What, he broke something? What were you boys doing on the roof? Science! Bill Nye the science guy. 
How many old school Bill Nye fans are there in the chat? Teacher. In the comments. Dangers are children. The man is a menace. My Cynthia has been asking all sorts of strange questions about things I've never even heard of. Oh my god, these parents. Yes. Please these openings their yeah, eyes to science. Mr. Menace. Mr. Menace? His last name is Menace. Was he in the original Frankenstein story? Like Mr. Some kind of menace character? And he's in the town and after Frankenstein with the pitchforks? Well, the monster. I want to see that movie. Hopefully, hopefully there's some kind of recreation of it. I think the confusion here is that you are all very ignorant. Is that the right word, ignorant? I mean stupid. Or stupid, yeah. Like a dog is afraid of thunder or balloons. To you, science is magic. Ah, uh, there's a certain degree of truth to that. <laughs> Such small minds. <laughs> <laughs> when people don't understand science, they become scared. I can take them and crack them open. This is what I try to do. To get at their brains. <laughs> I get what he's trying to say. He's just bad at communicating. Sidewalk. <laughs> no, shh, no. Victor? Victor? Hi, Elsa. What are you doing? Practicing my song for Dutch Day. It's nice. Did you get a new dog? No. I heard a bark. Yeah, that was me. Mm. <laughs> you must really miss Sparky. Uh, I gotta go. Bye. Bye. I feel so sad for him, Persephone. <laughs> you ask how your hair got like that. Persephone, is that her name in the books? <gasps> he was fired. Oh, man. All I know is I'll be teaching the class for the rest of the semester. Where's Krisky? What about the science fair? Oh, it's still on, but it'll be the gym teacher. Now get cracking and may the best person win. Oh, poor guy. She's not even interested in science. Back home, everyone is scientist. Even my plumber wins Nobel Prize. <laughs> not the questions the science asks. I think that's turned around now. I think engineers and scientists are highly regarded now. My project. At least in and my the first time bubble. it worked great, but the next time it didn't. I mean, it sort of worked, but then it didn't. And I don't know why. Then maybe you never really understood it the first time. People think science is here, but it is also here. The first time did you love your experiment? Your heart. Your heart, heart, heart. And the love. second time? Nope. I just wanted it over. You changed the variables. I was doing it for the wrong reason. Science is not good or bad, Victor, but it can be used both ways. That is why you must always be careful. Ah, uh, this guy's awesome. Too bad he couldn't communicate himself well. That's why guys like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye are good because they can communicate science in a way that's understandable. If you can't, you gotta have both. No, he doesn't. You fell for a parlor trick. You're saying he faked it? That the fish you showed us, was it real? I swear. I mean, he already brought back his dog. Oh, the cat's out of the bag. Hmm. At the back of Spiky. Victor will win the science fair, unless we can do better. You say you know Victor's secret? Now is your chance to prove it. What are you gonna do? Bring back pets from the cemetery? Yeah, this has got to be like, I don't know. Yeah, again, I don't know the original story too well. I know they like attack, go to his castle with pitchforks or something, and try to attack the monster. But I don't know what the twist is gonna be in this one. It can't be the same thing. Oh, his plans! Look at that life. Sparky. <gasps> oh, the reveal! It's starting. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't scream. Calm down. Sparky's alive! Sparky? Sparky, buddy. Hey, come on. Calm down, calm down, everybody. <laughs> oh no, he saw himself. Dad, what's going on? Guys, calm down, Dad. I'm trying to grab him. Sparky, come back! <sighs> Just a minute. No, I have to go find Sparky! Victor? 
What have you done? You said yourself, if you could bring back Sparky, you would. Yes, but that was different, because we couldn't. It's easy to promise the impossible. What you did was a very serious thing. Crossing the boundary between life and death. Reanimating a corpse. It's very upsetting. I just wanted my dog back. Okay, let's go get him. We'll help you look for Sparky, but when we get back, I think we need to have a little talk. Understood? Yeah, your kid is a genius. Brought something back from the dead. Something that's never been done before. That's worth... There's not even a number of how much that's worth. Bring, bring something back from the dead. People will pay anything for that. Crazy. But you'd have to perfect it. Like, they're like not. Yeah, they're all, I don't know. Yeah. Sparky! Sparky, are you in there? You guys at the town square, okay? Got it. Got it. Sparky! Oh, yes. I love that the parents are supportive and helping them out. Good, good. They brought everybody. Yes, master. Do you have any dead pets? Don't. She's already alive. Something to do with the lightning. I don't really understand it. Uh. Oh. You're going to recreate it somehow? Tonight, we shall bring the dead to life. <laughs> I wonder how many parallels there are. You know how they do like the side-by-sides? I wonder if there's that going on like did that happen in the original movie Back life cars also killed you before pet cemetery he's so confused this poor dog doesn't know what's happening like i should be dead like you guys brought me back i shouldn't be here sparky my grave oh man what the heck on his own grave. He should be dead. He feels it. Something happened like this in Star Trek Voyager where they brought one of the crew back and he just didn't feel like himself. Like he, he felt something was off. My niece, Elsa Van Helsing. Van Helsing? Man, there's that movie Van Helsing with, um, what's his name? I don't think Jackman. This is safe. We gotta watch that. We have the fire chief over yeah. here. Is it part one and two or something? <laughs> you know, a lot of girls would kill to be in your place. Really? Modest homes at modest <laughs> Candles on her hat. Uh-oh. They're gonna go get some pets. They can't be gone too long, like the pets that they get, bring dig up. I shall win the science fair. These kids are so determined to win this science fair. <laughs> it's like the most competitive elementary school for science fair ever. Well, that and like Jimmy Neutron school, right? What was that? No, was it Jimmy Neutron? It was that other family. There was some kind of science fair and then he went to the future or something. And we shall be reunited once again. And this guy wants to bring back his turtle. <laughs> turtle would be long skeleton skeletonized by now. Cafeteria. Oh. Oh. That's all it takes? Little makeshift sea monkeys? The hell? Little make makeshift Frankenstein machines over here. Colossus! Iliana! They're all doing it their own way. There's nothing left of this thing, man. There's no body. <laughs> what are you gonna bring back? It seemed like, um, our, I forget his name, but our kid, Frankenstein, he had all this equipment and stuff going on, and you didn't need all of that? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> this cat just goes out and kills a bat and brings it home. Look at those dolls. That thing can fly? Oh, no. Big eyeballs. Hey, hey. <gasps> that cat's gonna die for sure. Here we go. All of them at once. Look how cat, look how cat. Oh no. Oh my God. Colossus. Oh, did it blow up? Holy moly. Playing around with lightning to be trifled with. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my god. Wings? Oh my god. Holy crap, bat bat wings. What the Oh my god. The cat turned into that? Our precious cat. Oh man. What's the whiskers? Darn. That's crazy. What now? Jump scare. Oh, holy. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. Rise. I'm real too. It's going to be tiny. They always do this with the shadow. The shadow work. What is Colossus? A hamster? Wait, maybe it is big. It's duds. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, what the heck was that? Hamster? Ninja turtle? What now? What's that? What was that liquid? Shelly? Shelly? A dinosaur! Holy crap! Shelly! Oh my god, what kind of movie is this? This is crazy, a kaiju? How are they gonna stop them? Oh my god, all these sea monkeys! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I did not expect this movie to be like this at all. Holy crap. Sparky didn't barely change form. He didn't change form at all. These things are like... I guess it's the heart you put into it because they don't really care. They just want to win the competition. So that matters to the outcome of the experiment. Chilling by his grave. Or he was. Sparky? Sparky! Sparky, it's okay, boy. I thought that you were gone. Shelly. Shelly's a giant colossus. I'm not, I'm not really scared of colossus, but Shelly... That's a different story. See those things? They were like sea monkeys. You know how on the- Mm-hmm. I need your help. I asked him first. My problem, Biga. <laughs> My god, he got Godzilla over here. Yeah. Skull Island. No, that's King Kong. Godzilla, the second one is coming out. I'll probably do that this week. So, uh, get- uh, check out Patreon for that. Let me know if you want me to release Wednesday on YouTube. Wednesday, all the episodes are on Patreon. Wednesday is an amazing series, and this reminds me of that. So if you want them, let me know. Uh, they're all out on Patreon right now. And a lot more shows. Dutch Day. How the heck? I'm gonna run out of energy? What is this thing? Jesus. <laughs> Ew. He's hiding behind her. Oh, the gym teacher. Oh, order potty. You're going to be safe in there. <laughs> it's going to tip over and be disgusting. Oh, oh. Jeez. Oh, At least they're not killing them. If Tim Burton made a rated R movie, oh my God. Imagine that. That'd be terrifying. Something like this, but they were just ripping everybody apart. Come on, teacher, climb, climb. There's so many sea monkeys. Oh, oh, that's scary. Oh my god, a freaking T Rex. Why is he eating metal? Who knows? What are you gonna do? There's no proton packs, like, you can't shoot it. Colossus, what are you gonna do? Go, Colossus. I don't understand. What's Colossus going to do? Transform? Kill. Kill. <laughs> oh, Colossus versus Shelly. Wait, is he, is he growing or just coming close to close to the screen? Colossus? <gasps> what did you think was going to happen? Smushed him. Ah, <laughs> he wrapped him up. <laughs> 
Wrapped him up like a mummy. I can't believe Colossus got smushed. He was dead anyway, right? These are like gremlins. <gasps> Your sea monkeys. Are they fresh water or salt water? I just said they're like gremlins. We gotta watch gremlins too. I haven't seen that since they came out, so let's watch it again. Nice, he's gonna find clever ways to beat them all. How would you beat the uh, Shelly though? They're drinking beers. Here we go. Oh, closed it? Nice. Oh! Oof. Yeah, Frankenstein. I mean, Frank and Weenie. Get him, Frank and Weenie. Shoot. On Sparky? Oh! Oh, wow. Does that drain his energy? Okay, okay. Figured out how to stop that guy. You need to electrocute this guy now. Electrocution in the water, in the beer. Some good camera angles. Oh no, you're my former master! He's gonna kill him? Stop, you put me down! I gave you life! Yeah. I gave you life. Zap the ground, but he's in his mouth. He's gonna get zapped too. He would. He would be getting zapped right now. Oh. Oh, it's like he's gonna recording it. Shelly? Oh, Shelly's gone. Oh, God. Can you turn Mr. Whiskers back, please? This is... Oh, no! Oh, my God. Get him, get him. I'm coming in the sack. <laughs> Mr. Whiskers. Are you all right? What are you trying to tell us, boy? We got there. I knew see it. All it's the village the boy's people. Dead dog. <laughs> That's Elsa's way. Where's my niece? No, 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 no. After him. Bambi <laughs> playing in the theater. They're fast. That guy's quick. Keeping up with the dog. How is Bambi playing? What's the significance of that? Oh God. It's the scene from the Frankenstein movie. In there. Where's my niece? In there. She's trying to tell you. Oh, shoot. Oh, it was an accident. Oh, you goof. You idiot. You're the one that lit the thing on fire. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh. <laughs> whoops. Oh, crap. Oh. Put the torch down and help her. Victor, save Van Helsing. Oh, not you. I can't hold on, Mitch Walker. Oh my gosh, she's holding on like this. This little girl. Hold on. Upper body strength. <sighs> yes. Catch. Oh. Damn this thing. Why is it even trying to kill him? Yeah, let go of me. Oh my god. Come on, Sparky! <gasps> He's knocked out! Dad, where are you? Get in there! And Mr. Stinkles. Get in there, dude. What are you doing? Your son is in there. I'll freaking get in there right away. Both of us. Yeah, Jane. Honey, are you alright? Gonna go after the cat, too. Yeah. Oh no! Why? Holy crap, this thing is like... Why is he trying to kill him so bad? Oh! 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 Her cat's dead. Damn. Come on, Sparky, get out of there! Frank and Weenie. Bring him back to life. Again. Is there anything we can do for you? You said that I need to let him go. Sometimes... Adults don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> yeah, jump them. Cool. Start your engines. Come on, bring them back. Come on. Rev those RPMs. Turn off your engines. Come on, tail. Come on. Really? He's really dead this time? It's okay, boy. 
You don't have to come back. You'll always be in my heart. Yes. He's breathing. Look at that. <laughs> He's back. Sparky. Yay. His girl. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Happy ending. That was great. Frank and Weenie. I thought his name was going to be Weenie or something, but it's it was Sparky. Oh, man. That's cool. I, yeah, I didn't expect it to go that way. I kind of like Frank and Weenie. I was like, are they going to... I know, I kind of didn't put together they would do a whole the whole Frankenstein movie thing, but I should have based on the name. But they did the whole like, it's alive, it's alive. Like, you know, there were some parallels there. And then the villagers going after him. I haven't seen the original movie, but I know certain things from it, from pop culture. But that was very, very well done. Tim Burton killed it again with the crazy unique characters, the whole like goth death style. You know, he's obsessed with that stuff, um, but it works so well in this. Um, yeah, the kid is a scientist and he, his dog dies and he brings him back and all the different things that happen with that. The, all the other kids trying to win the science project, bringing back, um, what was his name? Shelly. And then the freaking Colossus. Why would you name a tiny, like, it looked like a hamster or something, Colossus. And he, just, he pits the Colossus against against the giant dinosaur. <laughs> like, And it just gets smushed instantly. Like, what are you thinking, dude? Um, but it was hilarious. And then the little girl's cat. I was kind of sad. I like cats. But um, the cat got transformed into, like, this bat demon. And it wouldn't stop trying to kill Sparky. So, but it got impaled and uh, it died. But Sparky was um, um, exonerated at the end. Like, he, he, you know, they saw that he was trying to help the girl and not attack her. The stupid mayor guy. But I didn't expect it to be like uh, monsters at the end. I really didn't. I thought it was going to be just them discovering... The dog came back alive and dealing with that and the whole like them wanting to burn it down and whatever. But and then it turned into this monster thing at the end, but which was cool. And the, all the other kids were involved. That was dope. Again, animation stellar. Everything is awesome in this movie. Um, t stands the test of time because of the animation style. This stuff, it's that's such one thing that's so cool about Tim Burton and this stop stop motion is that it doesn't age because like it's not like oh the, the the stop motion looks bad it's old like no it's like it looks like this came out yesterday so they would probably add some more like cg i don't know it just not nah, this is perfect because in a town like this there's no need to add that stuff where we watch some other stop motion movies where there was more grand stuff going on more f fantasy but this was yeah, these remain timeless because of the, the art direction and the style that they chose, which is wonderful. Voice acting was great. Um, yeah, very happy with it. And the focus on science. I know like early mid 2000s around that time, there was this focus on these protagonist characters with like that were nerdy scientists. You know, they're the smart guy. Um, What's that one we watched? Jimmy Neutron. Uh, there was that other one, too, where they traveled through time. But there was a big focus on nerdy kids that are scientists that were the protagonists. So I think this fell into that, too, a little bit around the tail end of that. But I'm all for it. Like, I love science and engineering and all that stuff. Even though I'm not great at it, I love to, like, after, like, in high school and stuff, I wasn't great at it. But I've... I like that stuff more now. You know, I, I follow accounts on Instagram and YouTube that break down science and technology. And um, I have a lot of interest in that. And I think it's really cool. And the whole thing with like, I don't know if this still persists in elementary school and high school with nerdy kids being like not even nerdy kids, smart kids being picked on and stuff. Or if it's like if it's flipped because 
tech geniuses like rule the world like look at like the uh, nvidia guy like he's becoming huge and the whole like ai push and all that stuff so and he's cool with his leather jacket in there. <laughs> so i don't know if you can really see, say they're i don't know but i love the movies that emphasize science and tech and the teacher um the science teacher he was he didn't communicate science well <laughs> he was a bit scary and he was like um elitist in a way but um if he learns to communicate science better i think he wouldn't have been kicked out <laughs> he was like you guys are idiots and you're scared of science because you don't under understand it and he was like okay calm down <laughs> like you're smarter than this so you got to be able to word it in a way where you're not looked upon as a villain you know so um, that was totally his fault there but that's why like i said neil degrasse tyson and bill nye are great because they can communicate these things um to the rest of us and we can in a way that we can understand and then do further research on but um anyway uh like the video subscribe to the channel check out uh the full length reaction over on patreon plus a ton of early access movie reactions are there television shows like wednesday one piece uh gravity falls a ton of there's more there's so much um over 20 plus exclusive movie reactions over there that will never go to youtube as well um, it's now March 25th, 2024. So if you're watching on YouTube, that's how far back you guys are. So if you want to get ahead, sign up to Patreon, $5, $10 tier, and um, you can watch a ton of content over there and you won't be left behind. My Patreon is growing, so I want to thank each and every one of you guys. It's amazing. I'm going to keep dropping sick content for you. And I started live streaming again over on Twitch and on YouTube. I double stream on both platforms trying to get our subscribers up over on twitch so if you have amazon prime join me for a live stream and um, we'll try to get the subscriber goal every time and it's uh it's been so much fun streaming with you guys and chatting and talking i usually stream on wednesdays during the day so stay tuned for that and i'm trying to do fridays at night as well but wednesdays during the day are a sure thing so i'll see you wednesday and i'll see you in the next video i'm out of here peace